Person number 11. So there we are given, start on a new page, refer to circuits A and B. So there are two circuits A and B below and you answer the questions that follow. So from there, you are supposed to answer the questions that you're given. So they were given the first circuit, which is our circuit A and our circuit B. So let us try to analyze what we're given. Uh, according to our circuit A, we've got uh, the battery source that we're given. Uh, then we've got uh, a resistor and another resistor with, uh, uh, if you had to cross check how the current is gonna flow, it's gonna pass here, another one this side, another one this side. So these two combinations are in parallel. So we are having a parallel combination in this case, all right? So we are having a parallel combination and in a parallel combination, we do understand that the voltages are the same. The voltage across these two resistors are the same. So it means V1 is equal to V2. The voltages across the voltmeters are the same. In a parallel circuit, the voltage is the same. In circuit B, if we are to analyze the current is gonna flow like this through our ammeter one, into this like that, like that, through, so like that. So this current that we are seeing on ammeter one flowing here, which is our, we can call it current one, is the same throughout, all right? In a series circuit, what is the, what is going to be the same area as the, the current? So in this case, we are having a series combination and in a series combination, we do understand that current remains the same or current is the same throughout all right so always or throughout the circuit current is the same so the current of 1,5 that we are seeing is the same current that will flow here there's going to be a current of 1,5 it is the same current that is going to flow here there's going to be a current of 1,5 it is the same throughout yet in a parallel circuit it is the voltage which is the same throughout so like I said, V1 is equal to V2. So it means here there's a nine volt. It means also here there's a nine volts. So analyze your, understand your diagram. What am I given? What type of a connection is it that I'm having? What type of a connection is it that I'm given? That is the question. So this uh, is what you're given. So uh, the first part we're given to define the term EMF, two marks for that. So remember that EMF, I talked about this, that this is simply uh, the maximum energy given in each coulomb of a charge passing through a battery. All right, so this one is the maximum energy. So you can just write this as the maximum energy. All right, so that is the maximum energy given uh, to each coulomb. So this is given to each coulomb. So that is what you're going to, to have to each coulomb of charge, to each coulomb of charge uh, passing through a battery. All right, passing through a battery. Passing through a battery. So that is the idea that you're gonna have in that case. So whenever we refer to the EMF, that is the definition that you need. Uh, then 11.2, calculate the total resistance of circuit A. Circuit A, you are considering the first circuit. This is our circuit A in this case, all right? So we are considering uh, this circuit A. What is the total resistance for these resistors which are connected in parallel. Remember, uh, this is a parallel combination and in a parallel combination, you can calculate your total resistance from this formula. One over RP is equal to one over R1 plus one over R2. You're given this uh, from your formula sheet. So do not worry about that. So that is one over RP is equal to one over R1 plus one over R2. You just have two resistors. In this case, we're just going to call uh, R1 and R2, depending on the way that you want. So that is, you can just uh, use your, your calculator straightforward. That is one over 1,5. The first resistor is of 1,5. That's one over 1,5 plus one over 1,5 like this. All right, so this uh, was going to give us one over RP is equal to, so if you add properly, you're going to obtain four over three. Remember, I told you guys that 
to find RP, if you are given one over RP, you just interchange, you take this RP over one is equal to what? It is equal to RP. But whatever that you've done on the left hand side must also be done on the right hand side. So this is going to be three over four. You just flip over, flip over, flip over like that. So that is our RP is three over four as a fraction, but as a decimal, that's 0 0.75 uh, ohms. Remember, this is resistance, and our resistance is measured in ohms. So therefore, our resistance, which is the total resistance of circuit A, is the parallel combination, is uh, uh, 12, I mean, it's going to be 0 0.75 ohms. Then on 11.3, you are given, consider this time, what is it that you're supposed to consider circuit B? We are supposed to work from circuit B. All right, 11.31, write down the reading on A2. The reading on A2, which is the ammeter 2 from our circuit B, we are considering uh, circuit B first. Then you need the reading on A2 here, A2. Remember what I said about the current in a series circuit that is the same. The current which flows there, 1,5 is the same current flowing, 1,5 amps throughout. So this is the same current that is going to also flow through our A to our ammeter. A is for the ammeter, and the ammeter measures current. The ammeter measures current. So the reading is the reading of what? Of current. They want you to name what is it that you're supposed to be the current, and the current is the same of 1,5 amps in a series circuit. Remember, current is the same. All right, then uh, calculate the reading on V1, 11.32, the, uh, the reading on V1, that is uh, across the voltmeter, V1. This is uh, across the voltmeter, V1. So there is a current there, there is a resistance. Remember, guys, we talked about this, that if you are given uh, the voltage current, I mean, the, the voltage and the current, you can calculate the resistance uh, from this diagram, V, I, R, like this. That is, what do we need in this case? We need voltage. We are given what? Current resistance, and we need voltage. So you just close what you want to calculate. So voltage is the product of these two current times, as you can see, is the product. So our voltage is going to be the product of current and resistance. Are we having the current? Yes, there's a current there of 1,5. We also have the resistance across the, the V1. You take across, remember, the, the voltmeter is connected in parallel to the connection. So you take the resistor across that voltmeter, which is 2. So that's our V. 1,5 times 2 was going to give us uh, 3. And this is voltage, which is measured in volts. So therefore, our voltage was going to be given as 3 volts. That is the idea there, all right? That is the reading on V1. 11.4, if the third resistor, take note, we are, we are supposed to analyze this. If a third resistor, 1,5 ohms, is placed in parallel, with the existing resistors in circuit A, in circuit A, in circuit A, this is our circuit A, this one, our resistors are in parallel. Then we connect another resistor again in parallel. Another 1,5 is connected again in parallel together with these resistors that we are given. That is the question that we are, that is what they're saying. Another resistor is connected in parallel with the existing resistors which is in circuit A. So the question is, would the total current of the circuit increase, decrease, or remain the same? Explain your answer. All right. This is a parallel combination. What happens in a parallel combination if you connect another resistor in a parallel? This is what you just need to, to ask yourself. What is going to happen if you connect a resistor, another resistor in parallel. Connecting a resistor in parallel, it decreases the resistance of the what? Of the circuit. The resistance decreases, but in a series, the resistance increases. So the opposite now to current, because current and resistance are inversely proportional. So as we need to talk about what? The total current. So if the resistance decreases, it means the current increases. So you're just going to write increase there we just need the answer increase then the reason now it is because of what i'm saying that 
uh, remember that resistance and current are inversely proportional. So as the resistance of the circuit decreases, the current increases. So in this case, as the resistance, as the resistance of the circuit, as the resistance of the circuit decreases, because uh, as you connect it in a parallel, uh, in a parallel circuit, we said the resistance is going to decrease. So as the resistance of the circuit decreases, uh, the current increases. The current increases. Current is inversely proportional. So current increases. Remember, uh, resistance and current is inversely proportional. So if this is going up, it means resistance is going down. All right? If the current is going down, it means the resistance is going up. They are inversely proportional. That is what you are supposed to understand from that nature. So these are your typical questions. Make sure that you do revise as many questions as you can. Mathematics, physics, it's all about practice. Maths and physics practice. So let's do the practice as much as we can. Do your question papers, go through your basics, your introductions, master every concept about your electrical circuits. Uh, so this is what you're going to be having uh, in your final examinations.